for many years, Nemisa has been doing a lot of metrology work. Part of that included training that we've been offering. When we started on a process to reorganize the organization, to make it more client-centric, more client-focused, we had a hallucination as an expo that had something of a training facility as part of what we eventually, after a lot of knocking around of ideas, eventually we termed it the Africa Reference Institute. So what you see here is only a small part of the bigger, what might still be a hallucination for us now, which is the Africa Reference Institute. Um, those of you who have um, gotten a chance to walk around, you would have seen we've um, established a reference material production facility. I've seen people that are um, clients that buys and uses our reference material produced in Nemesa. Proudly South African, proudly African reference material. But what we are building is a structure that is the Africa Reference Institute. The, that structure in what we are seeing and we are hoping, and that's why it is a pleasure for me to be welcoming you and opening this event because we cannot build it alone. It's not possible that only Nemesians can build it. The Nemesians are a very good bunch. They are a very good team. But in this kind of environment, you need the collaboration from other players within the sector and the field to be able to build this kind of environment. Um, Jane has got a way she likes. Um, it's aggregation. What we are developing is a structure that serves as an aggregator between academia, industry, the metrology um, laboratory sector, and the training institutes that may not be in the metrology environment. But what we are looking at is building a structure that forms as an aggregator of the different role players that operate in the field. It is so exciting for me to be standing here today, seeing what we envisioned many years ago coming to light. And for that, I want to thank the team that took the vision into a reality. And I'm hoping that we can clap for them because they did a great job. We are in an environment where the Africa Continental Free Trade Area is starting to create a need at the moment the need is for testing laboratories. And if you talk to the African Union Commission and other um, entities that are involved in the implementation of the AFCFTA, they talk about testing laboratories that are reference laboratories. But when you start engaging deeper, they tell you, actually, we're just looking for testing laboratories in each of the um, parts of the continent, either West Africa, North Africa, and all over the place. We foresee that in eight to ten years, the language is going to change. That laboratories are going to be there, but there's going to be a need for laboratories that do reference 
testing, reference measurements, whatever reference requirements that would be necessary for um, regulation. Now, this is the very reason why we decided to establish this center as part of the Africa Reference Institute. And I want to take this opportunity as we launch this to call on you as our um, partners, as stakeholders that are involved in this field, to join hands with us as we establish an Africa Reference Institute that is based in the African, in the tip, southern tip of the African continent. And I believe it is doable. As we stand here, we've got people from um, Kenya that are joining us today, that are here on a um, training mission. We've got um, a friend from Ghana that is here on a training um, mission as well, as part of the NEMISA training offering that we are um, giving. And I don't want to talk more about um, the training center. As I go um, to sit down, I will hand over to um, Dr. Aleta Kasten, who is one of those that have put their hands and shoulders to the plow to make sure that this becomes a reality. But as I sit down, I want to make an indication. Um, Aleta, if you, you look at her, I think she retired how many years ago? One? Three, three, three. Three years ago. One of the things that we need to build as a continent, but specifically as South Africa, is a culture. And maybe it's not building, it's going back to the old culture that we had, which one of the wise people in my village told me, you are burning libraries when you don't take care of the knowledge that is in the people that have done things and they know it. And here I want to also make a call to those that may be retired to contact us as NEMISA so that they can be part of this training center. They can be part of the knowledge transfer team that um, we are trying to build so that we can at least recover some of the libraries that we have banned over time. I've said this about um, six years ago when we had actually five, the um, big Africa food safety workshop that um, we ran. And I said, the challenge that we have is that those that have the knowledge in the continent are taken out of the system. Yes, we understand that Africa has a youth population. The average age of um, an African is 20-something. Um, However, there's an idiom that says, which means the young trees get supported by the old trees. And this refers to the transfer of knowledge. This refers to the library that is kept in the um, old, maybe retired, but not expired <laughs> Africans. And I want to say, as we build this, take note that we are opening our arms and we are saying, let's join hands, let's use this aggregation facility that we are building to develop Africa to be better, to develop South Africa to be better. This is a training center that, as I say, has been a hallucination and it's a dream that we are seeing coming to reality. And we are calling on everyone to say, join in with us. And Aleta will give you a little bit more about the training center. 
you are very much welcome as we declare this um, training center open for business. Not because we haven't been doing training, but because we want to just pull it as an aggregator that does things better.